Good evening. Salam sejahtera. Salam bersih. Thank you very much for such a warm welcome. <coughs> My voice is actually going. Um, I just want to share a little bit of my background. I'm actually a student activist for many years, uh, for the past, uh, since the uh, 70s. Yeah? I have uh, been involved in some of the uh, student movement struggle. I don't know whether people know about the issue on uh, Tasik Otara, where people were actually um, um, squatters and they were evicted. So that was one of the, the issues taken up by the uh, students. And also Baling. The farmers were actually starving because the prices, the protection was not there. The government neglected them. <coughs> and that was the issue that Anwar Ibrahim and uh, my, of course, my late husband, Yunus bin Labai Ali, was, were actually involved in. They, both of them and plus uh, Hishamuddin Raiz and of many, many other brave students during that time who actually took up these issues because they feel that these issues are issues of national concern. Not just about race, not just about the social background, not just about, you know, helping people. It is because it is these issues are actually national. It is related to the policies, the policies that the government actually dole out. That doesn't seem to be helping these marginalized communities, yeah, the discriminated. And this is the kind of struggle that my late husband actually took on. And I also took on these issues. And we both of us felt that that struggle our, our love for this country has to be shared with our children. <coughs> and um, while a lot of times, you know, people tell their, their fairy tale stories to the children, my husband tell about his perjuangan to his children. <coughs> and that is how we actually uh, grow up together as a family. And the interesting thing about my husband is that when he left this country because uh, he, he, the government was actually after him and um, was going to arrest him, he left this country and he became a Palestine Liberation Organization um, soldier. He was the bodyguard of Yasser Arafat and that's how he took on the struggle of the Palestine. Wow. And uh, why am I telling you this story? Because I believe that in each of each and every one of us, we need to have that commitment. We need to have that vision, that compassion, that feeling that this perjuangan it's not just about ourselves, but also much bigger. It's about our community. It is about our society. It is about our country. And that's how our perjuangan should be. It's important. It's important because as a country, as Rakyat Malaysia, to unite ourselves, the only thing that we can actually come together is really for the love of this country. Otherwise, all of you will not be here. Yeah, we love our country so much, we went to the streets five times. Five times. We were in the Himpunan. One, two, three, four, five. That is why, that is why, this coming election is the Perjuangan Rakyat. This is our struggle and we have to take on this struggle to show, show to the present government we want much better. We deserve much better. We cannot 
tolerate any more of their nonsense, of their corrupt ways, where they actually silence us through the laws, arrest us when we question about the corruption, when we question about the abuse of power, when we question about poverty in this country, this, country, this government does not does not act for the people of Malaysia anymore. True or not? Yes or no? Can I hear it louder? Yes or no? We have to get rid of this country. Of this government, sorry. We have to get rid of this government. Because it's enough. We cannot see and let our country go down the drain because we actually allow it by voting them back again. We can't do that. We cannot do that because we want much better. We want the stolen money, the stolen money to come back to Malaysia because that's our money. It's not Najib Razak's money. It is not anybody's money. That money has to come back to us because we need it. We need it to build more houses, low-cost houses. We need it to build better schools, better hospitals, and a better quality education for our future generation. Firstly, when I was in as a chair, we actually went to Ge Geneva because the Switzerland government froze, froze several million US dollars in Switzerland and actually said, yeah, the Attorney General of Switzerland actually showed evidence of the link of this money this money that has been laundered out of 1MDB. We actually appeal to the Switzerland government, please do not bring back this money to the present government. We have to keep the money outside and wait until we change this government and bring back the money. Yeah. That is our duty as the Rakyat. That is the duty of our rakyat. We want to claim in all the countries where they have laundered our money, where they have lavishly spent our money, we want to bring back the money for the rakyat of Malaysia. I have been going round in Taman Medan, and Taman Medan is miles away from Bukit Gasing. There's a lot of differences. Low-cost flats are in Taman Medan and it's just next door to us. And that is not just a Taman Medan problem. Yeah? You, you go into the low-cost flats, it's not just about hygiene. It is about unemployment. It is about our young people who don't have enough education. It is about our young people who don't have a space to go to to actually uh, interact with each other. They hang around. They hang around and get into all sorts of activities. Some are good, some are not so good. It is also about wages. Yeah, you are seeing just next door where we have people who are earning very low and don't have enough money don't have enough money to go to the hospital, don't have enough money to send their children to the schools. You are seeing this in this millennium in Malaysia. And we have, we have a duty. And that's what I mean by the perjuangan. We have a duty to ensure, to ensure that the next government will take care of Taman Medan and many more Taman Medans in this country. We have to make sure of that. That's our duty. 
we have to also make sure that this election has to be clean. We just discovered in Pataling Jaya that there is even worse, more cheating was actually found out. We found out that, you know, names, Chinese name becomes Malay name, Malay names become Chinese name. We found out that the Undi post, the Undi post that actually was given to our polling agents was different from the uh, electoral roll that has been dis uh, gazetted in the parliament. And we are still finding more and more errors. Tomorrow we are having a press conference to expose the kind of cheating that the SPR has actually done. Seven people in SPR determine the national election in this country. How can that be? How can that be? We should not even show that we are afraid. We must continue to expose them because by so doing, by voicing out, by expressing our anger, we must stop them and we will stop them. We will make this country a much better country. Yes, yes. or no? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready for? Uba what? Rajan. Uba the government. We are ready to Uba the government. We have to because they are cheating, they are stealing, and they do not care about the people that are suffering, that are discriminated, and are marginalized because policies while they appear good, does not reach down to those who need such policies. Their implementation does not reach out to these people who are suffering. And we have a duty, and uh, we only have one choice. There's no choice. There's only one choice in this coming election. This coming election, we must, we must vote and give Pakatan Harapan a chance to be the new government. Yeah. Agree or not? Yeah. Agree or not? Yeah. Pakatan Harapan. Pakatan Harapan. Pakatan Harapan. And that is our duty. We have to do that. And we have to get more people to come out to vote. We have to get more people to come out to vote because we have to reach now a very high voters turnout. 90%, that's our target. 90% we will have a new government if everyone votes for Pakatan Harapan. But if we fall short of 90%, 70% and below, we will have more 1MDB, we will have more poverty, we will have more Taman Medan problem. Okay? So we have to ensure that everyone, not just you here, but people, many more people in Singapore, Malaysians in Thailand, Philippines and so forth, to come out to vote. That is our duty for this coming election. And I hope that every one of you will help out in other areas as well and to help these candidates, this these are the candidates, they are the outstanding candidates who will be able to bring the change. And we have to give them the support. These are the young candidates and this is something that we should be aiming for. We ask for the government to have two terms. Two terms in the government, yeah? So it is the reason why is one, to stop abuse of power. But the other reason is that we also want to encourage young people like these to actually take up the political leadership. And that is the way to go for Malaysia. True or not? Yes. Are you going to support these candidates? Yes. Are you going to support these candidates? Yes. Thank you.
very much and uh, on 9th of May, see you at the polling station. Thank you. Pakatan! 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 Thank you very much.